Yo, what's good, guys? Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about seven things that pros do that you don't and how you can implement them into your gameplay. Make sure to like and subscribe if this video is helpful to you. I have more content on my channel that are also helpful videos, and I will be posting more soon. I try to post daily and would appreciate if you guys subbed. All right, let's get into it. Mentality. Mentality is arguably the most important thing in Fortnite, and this is how pros think. When they play and train, they're not playing and training to just have fun. They're actively trying really hard to get better at the game and taking the game very seriously. If you have this mentality, it'll help you a lot. Pros also do not care what other players think about them, and they do not care if they look cool and flashy when they play. Their goal is to only be good at the game and that's all. To achieve this sort of mentality, you're going to have to play lots of creative and ranked and actively think about what you're doing and try to get better. Alright, so I know that a lot of you probably already know this, but VOD reviewing is a great way to improve your skill and while others think it's better to watch pros play, it's more important that you watch yourself play and figure out the mistakes that you made and how to fix them. Now, I'm not saying to stop watching pro gameplay, but I'm saying to prioritize your own over theirs. Even pros themselves watch their own gameplay and VOD review. So that is a given that you should be doing the same thing if you're serious about improving. Alright, so let's talk about improving your weak points a lot of people will sit in creative and train for hours but only work on things that they're already good at so there's no point to doing this if you want to get better you need to target the points that you are weak at and cannot do as consistently as the things that you are good at going back to the last one a great way to find your weak points is vod reviewing your own gameplay let's say you cannot play for that long you can play for 30 minutes every day when you can play for those 30 minutes you should be working on the things that you are bad at if you're bad at peace control work on that if you're bad at aim work on that and etc all right so pressure isn't really a thing that pros feel and i know that's going to be hard for you guys to put into practice as it is for me too but when you're playing and fighting, you should feel very confident and no pressure and play calm and calculated. There's a reason why all the pros, no matter where they're playing, lands or dream hacks, tournaments, FNCS, they're always calm, collected, and just playing the best that they can. A good way for you to play calm and collected is by joining up into a solos match and just fighting as many people as you can while just trying to be smart and play calm. All right, let's talk about crosshair placement. So essentially what crosshair placement is how you move your crosshair and how effectively you do it. Realistically, you should be making minimal movements and it helps with your aim as well because if you're making minimal movements while editing something, your crosshair will already be closer to them and pros have mastered this. I will be putting a map on screen right now that helps you with your crosshair placement, peace control, and aim all in one. While you're playing, you should focus on making minimal movements and having your edits be really smooth. All right, so when pros fight and build, they always build with their maps out and they don't tend to switch between their pickaxe very often while building. A lot of players will think that it looks cool and spam their pickaxe while building, but in reality, it just makes you slower. Editing with your map out has various advantages such as making your edits quicker. You have uh, the ability to edit from further away, which can help with peace control and finishing fights quicker. You can get into this habit by free building a lot and just always focusing on having your map out when you fight and you should be able to get rid of the habit of switching between your pickaxe while building. Alright, so we're going to be talking about playing against comp and what I mean by that is when you watch pros play, 
they're always playing against other pros or people that are as good if not better than them. This is something you need to be in the habit of doing. You can find players that are better than you in West Opens or NA Opens now. Essentially, playing against better players will only make you better. If you think about it, playing against worse players doesn't help you at all because you're just going to be destroying them every round. As if you're playing better players, you're going to have to adapt your gameplay and learn how to play against them. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video and I really appreciate you guys for watching. I would appreciate if you subbed and liked. I'll be pushing out more content probably daily and yeah, have a great day.